What's going on, gentlemen? I hope you're all doing well and thank you for being here. So we've chatted a little bit about this topic in some past videos, and we've touched on how difficult it is to make new friends as you get older, especially more guy friends to hang out and bond with, right? And it's interesting because when you're a lot younger, it's a lot easier because you've got your school buddies. And then you've got the guys on your football team and the baseball team. And then you go off to college and you've got your party friends. But after that, once you enter the workforce and go off and get married and then start a family, things get different, right? Your old friends start to fade away. And the friends that you do end up with hanging out are typically your couple friends, right? They're the people that you and your spouse just go do things with. Now, if you're lucky, you end up connecting with the other guy enough to where the two of you can go hang out and do things without the wives. The problem is that doesn't always happen. So then we struggle with, I guess, trying to find things to do with other dudes that can kind of satisfy that inner caveman bonding experience that we had when we were a lot younger. So with all that said, in this video, I'm gonna list a few things that you can do or invite your buddies to do in order to connect and bond with your guy friends. Now keep in mind that your list might be different than this one, depending of course on what you're into. But the first item on this list is playing sports. And I don't even necessarily care what it is, but make it competitive. It could be basketball, softball, bowling, or in my case, I've been getting my ass kicked royally in racquetball by my friend Scott. I like Scott right here, who's just whipped my butt twice in racquetball. I think that all guys have that competitive strain, and I think mine goes a little bit deep, and I'm a little pissed off because Scott's kicked my ass twice already. <laughs> but anyway, doing something, exactly, doing something competitive and active with your guy pals is a great thing you can do. So like I said, just do something active and also competitive to build that bond. Again, in my case, if I wanna beat Scott, I need to work on my endurance and my speed. So now a great side bonus is I've got something to work towards to make myself better. All right, coming in next, but kind of on the same idea is another form of strenuous physical activity, but this time without the competitive aspect, right? Exercise go to the gym, work out, go hiking, go for a run, something that gets you guys out and moving. And of course, depending on the weather, go outside and kick the soccer ball around, go for a hike and spend a few hours just hanging out and moving your ass. How about this idea? On your hike, stop every 10 minutes and do push-ups. I mean, shoot the shit, talk about life, work, your kids, it doesn't matter, just get out and do it. Okay, next on my list is to have a cigar and whiskey night or day, or afternoon, anytime you want, right? Personally, I enjoy, on occasion, having a cigar with a glass of whiskey. For me, though, it's rye whiskey, or even red wine. There's a lot to discover with whiskey and cigars together. And of course, I understand that not everyone's gonna be into cigars, but I think for me, what makes it interesting is the flavor aspect, right? I'm a huge flavor guy, and I think that's why I love wine and food pairings so much. And since a lot of you guys have been asking me to talk about whiskey and cigars again, La Aurora came on board one more time to sponsor today's video. La Aurora was founded in 1903 with only six employees. As their business grew, they remained true to their Dominican roots and family traditions by giving back through charitable initiatives, social responsibility programs, and job creation. And because of that, La Aurora is one of the top employers in the Northern region of the Dominican Republic. La Aurora has now expanded into five continents, bringing the distinct taste of the Dominican Republic to 60 countries. Masterful blends and meticulous attention to detail elevate La Aurora over other cigar brands. The 107 Nicaragua is the most recent addition to their long line of premium cigars and was selected as one of Cigar Snob's top 25 cigars of 2020. The sampler packs and cigar accessories also make great gifts. So if you're interested in cigars, but you're not quite sure what to get, shop now by clicking that link down in the description and grab yourself some terrific cigars from La Aurora that you will love. Thank you, La Aurora, for supporting my channel and sponsoring today's video. All right, circling back to sports for just a minute, watching sports on TV is another great activity you can do with your buddies. Whether it's the Super Bowl or college football or basketball or even golf, if you're into golf like I am, but either way, watching sports on TV is a great shared experience that you can have because it allows for all those emotional ups and downs depending of course on how well your team is playing. It's also a pretty cool regular bonding experience that you guys can have when the game is on every single week. Okay, the next item on my list is fixing, assembling, or building 
something. It doesn't even matter what it is. For me though, back in the day, it was building my race car. A lot of my buddies were also racers, so we would always help each other work on each other's cars whenever we possibly could. And it was really great because if somebody, say, had to swap an engine, a bunch of us would show up and get it done really quickly. We'd crank up some music and drink a few beers and get our hands dirty. And there's really nothing quite like being a club racer and the camaraderie that comes with like wanting to help a fellow racer fix their car at the track in between run groups and then wanting to whip their ass 30 minutes later in a race. It's like man versus machine versus man and it's awesome. All right, I know today's video was kind of short and sweet, but if you made it to the end, please hit the like button to let me know. And also, if you have any other activities that you would consider to be a bonding experience, please let me know down below in the comments. I'd appreciate it. And with that, my friends, as always, thank you very much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.